so excited about day two of our inaugural National Diversity Free Law Conference. And um, I just want to thank all of you for waking up, getting here for the morning session. I know it's always difficult to do. Um, our first um, speaker um, who's going to give remarks is co-sponsor remarks. Uh, one of our sponsors for all the activities that we had yesterday, the, the afternoon and evening activities at Georgetown, uh, both of the student groups that really wanted us there and helped to make that happen. Yesterday we heard from Luis Perez, the president of the Latin American Law Students Association, and they helped make it happen. Another co-sponsor from Georgetown University's Law School was their Black Law Students Association. And so Shayla Jackson is going to um, speak with us on behalf of the Black Law Students Association at Georgetown. Shayla is someone who I care very deeply about. She's an alum of the conference that we've been doing in Houston now for a decade, the National Black Pre-Law Conference, and now she's a law student at Georgetown. And so she's very, very, very passionate about those coming behind us and about diversity and about social responsibility and public interest and giving back, and especially diversity leadership for those um, who are aspiring to become attorneys, those who are law students, and those who are attorneys. So she's going to give a couple of remarks on behalf of Georgetown's Law School and their Black Law Students Association. Law Scholar at Georgetown Law School. Um, if you are interested in public interest law and how to get some partial scholarship money for that, please see me and I can give you that information. Um, so when I first met Imagine, it was right after I had graduated from college. Um, went to the conference in Houston, didn't really have a job at the time, so I was scrambling my money to get to the conference because I knew I wanted to go to law school. And at that conference, I was so glad that I went because the information that I received blessed me tremendously. And I'm sure the information you've been receiving at this conference will also be a blessing as well. But there were a couple of things in particular that happened at that conference. It was the warmth of the professionals in the pipeline already. Administrators who work at law schools, lawyers, attorneys, judges, who basically said, we need you. We need you to come to this profession because we need your voice, we need your hard work, and we need your dedication. And I'm here today to tell you that we need you in this profession. And if you choose to accept the challenge to go to law school, and I say challenge lightly, because it will be a challenge every day, but when you come out on the other side, you'll be glad that you accepted that challenge. When you accept that challenge, Understand that diversity plays an important part in your voice is needed, and you will not be alone. Diversity, and I say that in the broadest sense because every lived experience is different, is so important in law school because when you get into that classroom, you may be the only person of color, you may not be the only woman, but you may be the only LGBT woman in that classroom, or man. And sometimes it's going to be your voice that needs to say something and be that person to say, I don't agree with this law. I don't agree with how this was interpreted. I think there's some racial undertones here. I think there's some policy issues. Let's put this in the context of what was going on at that time and talk about that, right? Because some of that will go unsaid. And you have to be the one to stand up and say something, because in that classroom, sometimes it is hard to, re to remember that you are not just a student. You are also a professional in the works. And the minds that you get a chance to shape in that classroom with your voice, with your experience that you bring, will also be some of the people that are elected officials, that go to Capitol Hill, and will continue to say some of the things they say in class. And your voice may be the one to help see that diversity is more than just your skin color. That diversity is more than just your background, how much money you make. And that all of that matters in the grand scheme of so I say that to say that we need you. And this conference will help you get the information you need so that when you get to law school, not only will you hopefully get the money that you need to get there, because I'm sure that's some of your concerns as well, 
but you'll also have the financial support and also the support of each other when you get there to stay there, stay focused, and make it out on the other side. This is a pipeline, and you have to find the people who support you, don't forget your family and friends, who will help you make it out, and you will be fine. So I hope that you had a wonderful first day of the conference. I welcome you on behalf of the Georgetown's Long Black Law Student Association. Um, I'm not going to go into a background of that, but we are one of the largest organizations on Georgetown Law's campus and just one national chapter of the year for a lot of the programs we do. Um, and we work with Anacostia High School students in our social ac activism program. And, and to piggyback on social activism, we also need you because there's more work to be done on the social justice side. Whether you go to a firm or whether you go to a public interest organization, we need you in that professional because the work is not done. And you'll see that when you get into law school, the work is not done at every level. All right, so don't be afraid to speak up, ask as many questions as possible because I remember at the conference I went to, the first day a woman said, you don't know what you don't know. And that changed my whole world. So ask questions because you might not know answers. Have a good day.